beloved in Christ. In this joyful season of Advent, let us prepare to hear once again the song of the angels, to go in heart and mind to Bethlehem to see this thing which has come to pass and the babe lying in a manger. Let us hear again from Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purposes of God from the first days of our sin until the merciful redemption brought us by this holy child. And let us make this house of prayer glad with our carols of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of the whole world and all the people of God. For peace upon the earth Christ came to save, for love and unity within the church Christ came to build. And particularly at this time, let us remember the poor, the cold, the hungry, and the oppressed, the sick and those who mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children. Finally, let us remember all those who rejoice with us in heaven and here on earth, that multitude of the communion of saints which no one can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven in the words that Christ himself has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Almighty God bless us with divine grace. Christ, give us the, give us the joys of everlasting life, and the Holy Spirit unite us with the communion of saints, now and forevermore. Amen. Jesus, the Savior, did 
did come for to die for poor ordinary people like you and like I. I wonder as I wonder out under the God tells sinful Adam that he has lost the life of paradise. Then Adam and Eve heard the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, where are you? Adam answered, I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. And God said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat? Adam said, The woman you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and I did eat. The Lord God said to him, Cursed is the ground because of you. By the sweat of your brow you will eat your food until you return to the ground, since from it you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you will return. And the Lord God banished Adam and Eve from the Garden of Eden. Remember, old man, old man, old man. Remember, old man, thy time is spent. I see from afar like you 
Promises faithful Abraham that in his descendants all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. Abraham built an altar and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac, his son, and laid him on the altar. Then he reached out his hand, took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called out to him from heaven, Do not lay a hand on the boy. I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have not withheld your son, your only son, I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars of heaven and as the sand which is on the seashore. And because you have obeyed my voice, through all your descendants shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. No psalmist excludes us in his
the prophet Isaiah foretells the coming of a savior. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, a great darkness over the people. But the Lord shall arise upon you, and the glory of the Lord shall be seen over you. And the nations shall come to your light, and rulers to the brightness of your dawning. There shall come forth a shoot from the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of its roots. The spirit of the Lord will rest upon that branch, the spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the spirit of counsel and of power, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, the leopard will lie down with the goat, the calf and the lion and the yearling together, and a little child will lead them. The cow will feed with the bear, their young will lie down together, and the lion will eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaning child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as waters cover the sea. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Prophet Micah foretells the glory of humble Bethlehem, birthplace of a ruler who will usher in a reign of peace and justice. But you, O Bethlehem, though you are small among the cities of Judah, out of you will come one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. He will stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And his people will live securely, for then his greatness will reach to the ends of the earth, and he will be their peace.
the angel Gabriel announces to Mary that she will give birth to God's promised one. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man whose name was Joseph, a descendant of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came to her and said, Hail, you who are highly favored, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And when she saw the angel, Mary was greatly troubled at these words and wondered what manner of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will be with child and give birth to a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and shall be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will never end.
Luke tells of the birth of Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, every one to their own cities. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea into Bethlehem, the city of David, because he belonged to the house and lineage of David. He went to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, who was great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn.
The shepherds go to see the Savior of the world lying in a manger. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign for you. You will find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward all whom God favors. As the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger.
The Magi follow a star to find the child Jesus. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of Herod the king, behold, there came Magi from east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We saw a star in the east, and we have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with him. When he had gathered all the chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Christ was to be born. And they said to him, In Bethlehem in Judea, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, and the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will be the shepherd of my people Israel. And lo, the star they had seen in the east went before them until it came and stood over the place where the child was. And when they had come into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshiped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Was 
John unfolds the great mystery of the Incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word was with God at the beginning, and all things came into being through the Word. Not one thing came into being without the Word. What has come into being in the Word was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never overcome it. There was someone sent from God, whose name was John, who came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through John. John himself was not the light, but came to testify to the light. The true light, which gives light to everyone, was even then coming into the world. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Thanks be to God. Amen. Almighty God, you who gave your only begotten Son to take away our sins, grant that we, being reborn and made your children through your grace, may daily be renewed by your Holy Spirit. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever, world without end. Amen. <laughs> 